Hi, Allison. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. So I guess we'll just jump in. Um, okay. We have seen you be everybody from Willow on Buffy to Lily on How I Met Your Mother. And now your role of the lifetime is being a parent. So yes. how did that shape your view of what's going on in schools and what projects you've chosen to take on since becoming a mom? Well, it just really um, makes it so much more important. I mean, it was always important, obviously, but it, once it strikes, you know, home of like, oh, wow, I'm a parent and I really have to think about these things, it's just crucial. And so everything we can can do to help schools um, is is just of the utmost importance. And, and so that's why I'm so happy to, to be um, partnering, partnering with General Mills for Box Tops for Education. And um, They've done just such an amazing program. This is the 20th birthday of this um, this program, and uh, and they've raised over 780 million dollars um, for you know for schools to help with supplies like art supplies and computer labs and all the things that are the first to be cut out of out of a school system when when they don't have the funds so it's very important and everybody can go to boxtopsforeducation.com to uh, find out any more information and and everything and you can also watch the videos that i got to participate in which um are quite hilarious i pose as a substitute teacher for the day but I've taken away the things that Box Stops for Education um, helps give schools. I've taken them away just to see what it would be like without the program. And um, yeah, so art class with no paint was, uh, was not, um, not something the kids were too uh, happy about. And um, you can watch the videos there. Or, you know, the computer lab, I took away their keyboards and their, the mouse for the computer and, and stuff like that. So, um, so obviously the videos are funny, but it's a, a very serious, you know, topic of like schools need this help. Yeah, the programs that get cut usually are the ones that Box Top for Education helps most with. Exactly. And so... Yeah, that's important. When you were yes. doing those videos, um, things like art and stuff like that, most people kind of, whenever they get older, those dreams kind of don't get to have a life because, you know, they didn't have that kind of program in school to really help them and to motivate them. Yes. So how were those videos? I know you said that they were funny, but, I mean, you did yeah. them for a reason so that people saw, like, the validity of the situation. Absolutely. And, and uh, you know, obviously we're doing it for a good cause, but but – there was this one little boy that was so frustrated with me because he uh, he wasn't he just was so mad that I was like asking him to paint a rainbow with no paint and he's like I can't do it <laughs> I was just like oh gosh um, I just wanted to scoop him up and hug him but um, he was very happy once we returned the paints um, you know and uh, and yeah it's just absolutely. A necessity we have to help in any way we can this is so easy and you know just collecting box tops from stuff that's probably already sitting in your pantry and um, there's even a bonus a box top bonus app that you can download on your phone and just after you grocery shop you just put the products that you just bought in I mean you just tap on the ones it's a picture and everything you just tap on it and then um, scan your receipt uh, with your phone and you get double the money for your school um, so that's a really great addition and hopefully we'll, we'll raise even more money for, for your school. Yeah. And that's nice because a lot of us are really technology driven these days. So we'll always have our phone in our hands when we're doing grocery shopping and stuff exactly. like that anyway. So. Absolutely. Um, and then, so as far as that goes, you can scan it in on your, you said you scan the receipt in on the app and then it just goes directly, do you have to do anything else after that? No, you just actually just take a picture of the receipt to, to prove that, you know, you bought those items and and uh, it gets, a, for September and October, it will uh, double the money that they give to your school. And all the information can be found at boxtopsforeducation.com, plus the videos. Awesome. And then, so your other projects, you've got new stuff going on yourself. Um, what's that like? What are you most excited about coming up for you? Um, well, I think the final episode just aired for of uh, the Penn and Teller Fool Us, which was a lot of fun to do. Um, and uh, that was a blast. And then I just um, 
did a pilot for TV land called First Wives Club based on the movie. And uh, that was that was a lot of fun. The, the other ladies and I had such a blast. It's Megan Hilty and Vanessa Lachey. And, um, and we just had a great time. So hopefully we'll get to do more of those. That's awesome. And then so we have a little pop quiz for you. It's nothing too hard, but just a couple okay. questions. All right. So based on your experience with Bop Top for Education, do you think that you would make a good teacher? No, I would not make a good teacher at all, I can honestly say. Um, I have the utmost respect for what, the patience that, it, that teachers have, and um, it just, it's incredibly difficult and and um i'm so fortunate that my or my daughters and i are so fortunate that they go to such a great school with with such wonderful teachers and i'm just all always in awe of of not only what they do but how they do it and they're just they're the best and then talking about your daughters what superlatives at this point of their lives would suit them so far <sighs> oh gosh I don't, I mean, you're asking mom, so we could be here all day, but <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're just lovely. Um, they're, yeah, they're just, it's just the greatest thing in the world. Um, and my oldest daughter already wants, she wants to be a teacher, a librarian, and a mother. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And then if you could go back in time, what advice would you give your grade school self? <sighs> Uh, you know, it'd probably be like fashion, fashion stuff of like, uh, just the, the, yeah, just what not to do. Just basically everything I did was wrong. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I would just say like, pay more attention to fashion. It'll help you in the long run. <laughs> okay. yeah, I was like, no, I, no, that's, uh, but, um, yeah, there's, uh, yeah, I need to adopt my, my little <laughs> self. <laughs> And then what advice do you think that you would give young adults about returning to school? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I guess, you know, it's hard because I don't know. It, it just depends what school they go to. But uh, I guess right now I'd just say collect some box tops because your school's going to get yes. way better. <laughs> <laughs> um you know, I wish the program had been around for my school because, boy, did it need it. But I am yeah. aging myself, but it was not. I wasn't in school 20 years ago when it was born. <laughs> but, <laughs> man, my school needed this, this program, as do all the schools that are benefiting from it. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I, I guess I would yeah. tell myself, go into the future because you'll have box top, the box tops program right. <laughs> and you can have an art class. It'll be so much better. <laughs> and then where can people go to find out more about the box top for education? I know you mentioned it a few times, but just yes. one more time if you don't oh. mind. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Um, boxtopsforeducation.com. All right, perfect. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.